Let us now take another question that has been asked in one of the earlier SSC CGL exams. The question here says if x equals to 2 root 6 upon root 3 plus root 2 then the value of x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 plus x plus root 3 by x minus root 3 is equal to what? And we have got the four answer options here root 3, root 6, 2 and root 2. Now as discussed in the earlier question, there are a few cases where we can go ahead and do an approximate calculation to arrive at the correct answer. But that purely depends on the type of answer options given to us. So let's analyze if we can actually go ahead and do an approximate calculation in this case. Look at the answer options, root 3, root 3 is approximately 1.73, root 6, what will be root 6? It will be around 2.4, right, approximately 2.4. Okay, what about 2? This is directly value 2, right? Root 2, approximately 1.414. So, if you look at the answer options, are they not close to each other? Yes, they are, right? 1.7, 2 2.4, 2 and 1.4. So, this will make it difficult for us to go ahead and do an approximate calculation. For example, let's say we get an answer which is around 2. Let's say we get approximately 2. Now we will be in a dilemma, if it is approximately 2, should we go ahead and mark option C as the answer which is 2 or maybe 1.7 and hence we will not be able to complete the solution here. So going by an approximation method here is not suggested at all. So what else can be done? Then we will have to go for a regular solution. So what should we do? Maybe we simplify the value of x. You see here that we have got 2 root 6 by root 3 plus root 2. So we can eliminate the thirds in the denominator. How do we do that? Rationalize. Multiply and divide by root 3 minus root 2. So we get x equals to 2 root 6 upon root 3 minus root 2. Sorry, root 3 plus root 2. And rationalizing by root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2. So what is the simplified value here? 2 root 6 into root 3 minus root 2 divided by, look at the terms here, a plus b into a minus b, a squared minus b squared. So root 3 squared is 3, root 2 squared is 2, so 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1, right? So what do we have? The value of x will be equal to 2 root 6 into root 3 minus root 2. But again, substituting x equals to 2 root 6 into root 3 minus root 2 in this expression, that is x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 plus x plus root 3 by x minus root 3 and then simplifying it would be a real complex calculation, right? It would take a lot of time and we actually end up wasting a lot of time if we go ahead and substitute the value of x. So even this is not suggested. You can try it by yourself. Just see what do we, uh, you know, get if we use the value of x in this expression. What is the value of x? 2 root 6, 2 root 6 into root 3 minus root 2. The denominator is anyway equal to 1. So substituting in this uh, expression would make it a little complex, right? And we'll end up wasting a lot of time. So even this is not suggested. Then how do we answer this? Well, let's look at a smart solution here. Now this again depends on your knowledge of algebra, right? If you understand, uh, you know, the methods of invertendo and uh, alter, alternendo, componendo, dividendo, componendo and dividendo, you can answer this question much faster. Let's look at the solution. See the value of x is given as 2 root 6 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Now we can take it as 2 into root 6 can be taken as root 3 into root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Yes or no? Root 6 is nothing but root 3 into root 2 or root 3 into root 2 is equal to root 6. So we have just split the third in the numerator here. Now we can apply component to dividendo and arrive at the answer. Now let's calculate what is x upon root 2. x divided by root 2. What will be x divided by root 2? See, you take this root 2 in the denominator on the other side. So what are we left with? 2 root 3 divided by root 3 plus root 2. So x by root 2 is equal to 2 root 3 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Now if we apply component of dividendo to this equation, do we get this part? Yes. What is component of dividendo? According to component of dividendo, if we have a ratio comparison, let's say a by b equals to c by d, then we can say that a plus b 
by a minus b will be equal to c plus d by c minus d. This is a combination of both component dough as well as dividend dough. Alright. And there are other methods as well. Invertend dough and alternate dough and so on. Right. You can refer for these things in the video of algebra. So however, when we have a by b equals to c by d, we can say a plus b by a minus b equals to c plus d by c minus d. Now here we have got x by root 2 equals to 2 root 3 by root 3 plus root 2. Look at the first term x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 x plus root 2 by x minus root 2. So what are we doing? a plus b. Let's say this is a and this is b. a plus b will be x plus root 2. a minus b in the denominator will be x minus root 2. So basically we are applying component to dividend to this comparison. Alright, so let's do that. What do we get? Let me just clear this part here. So what do we get? This will be equal to, this implies x plus root 2 upon x minus root 2 will be equal to again add the denominator to the numerator first and then uh, take numerator minus denominator and the denominator so 2 root 3 plus root 3 plus root 2 root 3 plus root 2 divided by 2 root 3 minus root 3 minus root 2 all right c plus d by c minus d so 2 root 3 plus root 3 is equal to 3 root 3 plus root 2 divided by 2 root 3 minus root 3 is root 3 minus root 2. So we have got the first term now x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 equals to 3 root 3 plus root 2 by 3 root 3 minus root 2 which is what we need in the first part of the expression. Now let's do the other part. See we know that x is equal to 2 into root 3 into root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Earlier we had taken root 3 in the denominator. Now let's take root 3 in the denominator. Right. So what do we get? From the first expression we get x upon root 3. x by root 3 will be equal to 2 root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2. Alright, again a similar calculation. This is a by b equals to c by d. We are applying component to dividend, which means a plus b by a minus b will be equal to c plus d by c minus d. Alright, so going ahead by that, we get x plus root 3 by x minus root 3 will be equal to 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by 2 root 2 minus root 3 minus root 2. So 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus root 2 will give us 3 root 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 2 minus root 2 which is root 2 minus root 3. So this is x plus root 3 by x minus root 3. So we have got the simplified forms of these two terms here, right? x plus root 2 by x minus root 3 and x plus root 3 by x minus root 3. Let us now substitute these two values in the given expression and find out the required answer. Now, as there is a space crunch, let me just uh, clear these answer options. Anyway, the answers are root 3, root 6, 2 and root 2. So let us just uh, clear this part here and substitute these two terms. So what do we get? x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 is equal to 3 root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2, root 3 minus root 2. And the next part here is x plus root 3 by x minus root 3, which is equal to 3 root 2 plus root 3 by root 2 minus root 3. Now, since we already have root 3 minus root 2 here, let us also express this as root 3 minus root 2. So, this plus becomes minus, right? It becomes minus and we'll have root 3 minus root 2. All right. So, this can be taken as 3 root 2 plus root 3 by root 3 minus root 2 with a negative sign minus of this part. So, I am taking x plus root 3 by x minus root 3 equals to minus of minus of 3 root 2 plus root 3 divided by root 3 minus root 2. That's it. Now, let us take the LCM. What do we get? The LCM here is root 3 minus root 2, right? That was the purpose. Now, the LCM is clearly root 3 minus root 2. So, the denominator is root 3 minus root 2. Now, let us simplify the numerators. 3 root 3 plus root 2 3 root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 root 2 minus root 3. So 3 root 3 minus root 3 is 2 root 3 and root 2 minus 3 root 2 is minus 2 root 2. So 2 root 3 minus 2 root 2. All right. So we get 3 root 3 minus root 3, 2 root 3 and root 2 minus 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2. Now, if you take 2 common in the numerator, what happens? We get root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2. So, this anyway gets cancelled and we are left with 2. So, that is our final answer. Well, this is a little congested here, but I am sure all of you have followed the solution. So, what we do here is apply component to dividend to by obtaining x by root 2 and x by root 3 from the given value.
and this results in x plus root 2 by x minus root 2 and x plus root 3 by x minus root 3 individual terms. Then substitute them to arrive at the required answer. Now maybe you will find this solution to be a little lengthy, right? But understand, if you go by any other solution, that is rationalizing x and then substituting in the given expression also would make it equally complex or in fact a little more complex and time consuming. So either you do it in a smart way, apply component to dividend or just skip such questions and move to the next one. Remember, your target in the exam is not to solve each and every question, right? You should be wise enough to choose the questions properly. So if you don't get a better way of solving the question in the first 10 to 15 seconds, ideally you just skip the question and move to the next one.